Hi there, this is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about the copper peptide GHK-CU, or for copper. Now, it is only a tiny little three amino acid peptide. You wouldn't think it had that much activity, but with the histidine-lysine combination strongly binds copper. And here's aging in a nutshell. When you're 20 years old, you have 200 parts per million. When you're 60, you have about 80. So that's about a 40% drop, or 60% drop, to a much lower level. And in that context, it, when you found, it was discovered when we found that old rats, given serum from younger rats, their livers started acting young again. And GHKU was involved to find that. Now, what are the implications we have with it? Well, actually, it's been used heavily in the beauty industry. And beauty salons find out you can get rid of wrinkles. So if you've been asked if you'd like copper peptide treatment when you're at a beauty salon, men's hair transplants uh, do better when they have the copper peptide put on their scalps. But it's involved in all sorts of healing things. And so if you're having surgery and you want to heal, you want to have GHKU in your in your on your team, it's going to turn out to be an incredibly important peptide. And the interesting thing is it's so easy to manufacture. The key is you had it when you were young and you don't have it when you're older. Does it have any side effects? Not that we know of. Now, copper is an interesting, pep an interesting metal because it's kind of a two-edged sword. It's very dangerous when you have too much of it. And many of us who live in homes with copper pipes get too much. And that seems to be linked to Alzheimer's disease. Uh, but too little and you don't heal. So that's a big issue. What will work for me? By golly, I'm trying to learn this stuff left and right. This is totally interesting. But if you're going to have surgery, you might want to know about the copper peptide because you're certainly going to hear about it soon enough. The House of Medicine should be adopting this pretty soon, you would hope. This is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about news and nutrition's topic, the copper peptide healing magic.